Let's use linear approximation or linearization to evaluate f of 26 into the cube root of x. So our function being the cube root of x, we need to come up with a perfect cube number near 26. So thinking about perfect cubes, one cubed is one, two cubed, two times two times two is gonna be eight, three cubed, three times three is nine, times the third three is gonna be 27. Okay, we've come up with a perfect cube near 26. So we're gonna use A as being 27. So we'll use that to go through our steps, our three steps for linear approximation. The first step is evaluating f of a. So our a is 27. Since 3 cubed is 27, the cube root of 27 will give us 3. So our f of a is 3. Our second step is to find f prime of a. So we're going to take the derivative and plug in at a equals 27. So the derivative here, we need to remember that the cube root is really x to the one third. So we take the derivative, we're going to bring down that one third power and subtract one for the new power to get negative two thirds. So our derivative, f prime of x, is one third, and we're going to write it in a way so that we can plug into our head. So we need to bring down that negative power as being a positive in the denominator. So negative exponents belong in the denominator. And then we can figure out how to write it as a root again. So we have 1 over 3, and it's the second power with the third root. So I'm going to take the third root on the inside here of x and raise it to the second power. Right, two thirds, two is the power, three is the root. And if we write it like that, then we can plug in f prime of 27 to be one over three times the third root of 27, which we know to be three, and then it gets squared. So we get one over three times the third root of 27 is three, and that's getting squared. So one over three times nine, our derivative, f prime of 27, is gonna be one over 27. I have to do some algebra for this one to figure it out. It's a little bit nicer when it's a trig function. We could just think about the unit circle, something we have memorized. But we can take the third root of 27 to be three, square it to get nine, and so one third, and then we have that nine in the denominator gives us one over 27. We have our two pieces for the approximation. We are ready to write out L of X. So L of X would be three plus one over 27 times X minus our A is 27. We're gonna use this to figure out f of 26. f of 26 is approximately gonna be the same thing as l of 26. So if we plug in l of 26, we're gonna get three plus one over 27 times 26 minus 27. So we get three plus one over 27 times negative one. So 3 minus 1 over 27. And to subtract fractions, we would have to have the same denominator. So we'd have to think about what 3 times 27 is. 3 times 27 is 81 over 27 minus 1 over 27. Or our answer would be 80 27 This one had a decent amount of algebra in it. You could always... Check with a calculator if you have one. Take the third root of 26 and compare that to 80 over 27 and see that our approximation looks very good and accurate. It just took a lot of algebra to get there.